Greetings, friends. Welcome to Walking in His Word, the podcast where we embark on short, faith-filled journeys through the scriptures in episodes that are both concise and impactful. Each week, we take an 8-10 to minute purposeful stroll through the pages of God's Word, offering insights, wisdom, and inspiration to enhance our day. So join us as we explore each topic, uncovering the treasures hidden within the scriptures and learning how they can be applied to our lives. So let's take this brief but powerful journey of walking in His Word together. We invite you to join us over the next several weeks as we explore the wisdom of the parables of Jesus. Join us as we peel back the layers of these parables, uncovering the profound truths that continue to shape our understanding of faith, compassion, and humanity. Each episode, we'll walk through a parable shedding new light on their messages and exploring how they resonate with our daily experiences. Get ready, because on Walking in His Word, the parables are more than just stories. They're a guide to living a life inspired by love and grace. So stay tuned and let's embark on this transformative journey together. We're so excited to introduce to you our next series on the parables of Jesus. Over the next several weeks, we will look into most of the parables taught by Jesus in the Gospels with hopes of gleaning critical truths that we can apply to our lives each day. Some commentators estimate that at least one third of Jesus' teachings are found in the parables. Throughout the series, we will learn from the master teacher, Jesus Christ. We'll discover that even though these parables were taught over 2,000 years ago, the messages remain relevant for our lives today. These parables were meant to be easily and quickly comprehended by the hearer. Jesus drew his illustrations from the daily lives and experiences of the people of the day so that everyone could understand and grasp what was going on. Now, some of you may be asking yourself, what is a parable? And that's the reason for this introductory podcast today, to lay the groundwork for the entire series by explaining what parables are. We'll also look at some common themes that we'll see throughout each parable, and we'll also give some guidelines that we'll be following as we attempt to interpret each truth. So first, we must answer the question, what is a parable? The simplest definition is a parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. Jesus would often tell stories and would put something that was known to the hearer and compare it to something that they didn't know and use that comparison to teach about the unknown subject. Most often, Jesus used nature or human circumstances to demonstrate these spiritual lessons. You can easily recognize a parable because the words like or as are often used. You may also be asking yourself, why didn't Jesus just say it like it was? Why did he have to tell a story? Jesus' disciples asked him a similar question in Matthew 13. They said, why do you speak in parables? And Jesus' reply in verses 11 through 17 is quite interesting. First, he starts in verse 11. He says, to you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. And later on, he gives the reason why. Verses 15 through 17, he says, for this people's heart has grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For truly I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see and did not see it and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. Many people were against Jesus and did not want to learn from him. Their hearts were hard and were only following him because of the miracles he was doing. They saw and they heard, but they could not understand. But the true disciples were different. Their attitude was, Lord, show us the mysteries of heaven. The disciples wanted to learn more about Jesus and his kingdom, and they were hungry to learn all they could from him. So he taught them some of the deep truths of the kingdom of heaven. By resorting to parables, Jesus effectively separated the truth seekers from the curiosity seekers. The disciples would often ask the Lord to explain the parable to him, and he would then take the time to explain and teach even more. While those who had no real desire to learn would hear a good story and walk away. The desire to learn is something that is very prevalent in men and women who are following the path of righteousness. There is almost an insatiable desire for God's word. We see this in David's life. He would often cry out, Lord, teach me your ways that I might be obedient to you. But the unrighteous are not so. Once Jesus started teaching the deeper truths of the kingdom in heaven, we read in John 6 verse 66 that many went back and followed him no more. And in response, Jesus looked at his remaining disciples and said, are you also going to leave? And Peter's response demonstrates at the heart of someone with an insatiable desire for God's word and to follow the Lord. He said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. A true believer has this attitude. Lord, where else can I go? You're the only one who has the true words of life. 
So here we see the reason for parables is to ignite the desire of those who want to learn more and conceal the truth from those who do not. Now that Jesus had their attention and their hunger for the truth was growing, Jesus then taught them about what it means to be part of the kingdom of heaven, which is the major theme of the parables. Matthew 13, 11 confirms it. He says, you are to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. This theme is confirmed many times over. Many of the parables even start with the phrase, the kingdom of heaven is light. The kingdom of heaven was the overwhelming theme in Jesus's ministry on earth, and he used these parables to teach his disciples, and consequently, all of us. Throughout this podcast series, we will see the character of the kingdom of heaven explained in parables like the parable of the mustard seed, the parable of the leaven, the parable of the hidden treasure, and the parable of the pearl of great price. We'll see the character of the king portrayed in parables like the parable of the workers in the vineyard and the parable of the lost son. We'll also see the character of the king's subjects in parables like the parable of the good Samaritan and the parable of the persistent widow. So we will see a very clear picture of what it takes to be part of the kingdom and what it will be like when we get there. Finally, as we embark on this study of the parables of Jesus over the next several weeks, we must be very careful to avoid a few common mistakes. Please remember as you listen, these are earthly stories that demonstrate heavenly principles. In this podcast series, we are not going to look for something spiritual in every single detail of every parable. We are also not saying that the interpretations set forth in this study are the only interpretation. With each parable, I hope to explain the central truth or central theme and how we can apply that truth to our lives today. So what can we glean even just from this introduction to the series? The main thing is to ensure that we have a hunger and thirst for God's truth so that we may be able to understand. As we talked about in our previous series on Psalm 1, the righteous meditate on God's law day and night. So are you hungry for God's word? Like David, who cried out daily, Lord, teach me. And as we start this new study, I pray that we look at these parables with a new perspective and a renewed hunger for God's word. So may God bless you, and may you truly come to understand and qualify to be in the kingdom of heaven. Thank you so much for joining us on this enlightening journey through the parables of Jesus on the Walking in His Word podcast. We hope you found inspiration, wisdom, and a deeper connection to the teachings of our Savior. If these stories have touched your heart and stirred your soul, please be sure to subscribe to our podcast. That way, you won't miss a single parable as we continue on our journey. We're here to spread the teachings of Jesus, and you can help. Share this podcast with your loved ones, your friends, and even your neighbors. Let's build a community that walks together in His Word. Your thoughts and questions are a valuable part of our discussion. So please reach out to us through our website or connect on social media. We're at Walking in His Word Podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. As we navigate the parables, remember these timeless stories offer guidance and grace, even in the midst of life's challenges. Keep walking in His Word, and may His light shine upon your path. Until our next parable, may your journey be blessed.